Oh! One pheasant down. Turkey! <laughs> it's utter chaos right now. to be back in La Hacienda in Rancho Del Arroyo and I have to say <laughs> we're gonna get into the pheasant hunting but let's just look at this oh there's no door here to get into the bedroom no yes I know what you're thinking yes exactly I was when I did this I was like there's no way we're just gonna phase right through it like a ghost no bead physics I don't know if you play as many video games as I do it's little things like this that get you really excited about stuff. Oh, they didn't need to do this. They could have put in a freaking door just like any other place. But no, above and beyond, EW. Above and freaking beyond, man. Anyway, we're going to get into the pheasants here. We got a green notebook here. That's fantastic. And boxes and stove and everything like that. Bears. Bears in Mexico. Anywho... Uh, wagon wheel what sort we're gonna go after pheasants today. I'm excited about it You should be excited about it, too, because I mean, come on man pheasants. There's a tower over there uh, We are right in the middle of the map um, Just about anyway, and uh, this whole scrubland area here uh, North and south right in the middle of Hacienda La Falda del Rio I haven't found any around here is the is the majority of where the pheasants are going to be there are pheasants i did find a pheasant in the desert and i'm sure there's pheasants that have wandered into the hills as well but the scrubland is where the pheasants are meant to be um as far as uh drink times and all that sort of stuff i'm not sure if the pheasants really have anything like that oh there we go uh need zone eating anyway 4 30 to 8 in the morning so that's kind of interesting um but the way it is the way you hunt pheasants you almost hope that they don't have a need zone because because you end up shooting a bunch of them and it, and it destroys any need zones in the area so I would be fine if the pheasants just kind of wandered about uh, wherever they wanted to go today we are going to be using uh, the double barrel side by side to be chasing after them like a gentleman and then less gentlemanly we have a uh, the Norden 20 gauge semi-auto three shells there two shells in the other and we'll just keep you on there we did use the 1897 kuzo in our intro to uh, rancho del arroyo video so you can check that out if you want to but we have plenty of other videos coming in the future i have a whole list of them right here and one of them is actually to go after everything cowboy style lever action uh the old uh we're gonna bring back the kuzo to try to get like a, a wild west shotgun as well and then we're gonna go after uh oh probably every species on the map with all the lever actions and revolvers and an old time shotgun as well so i'm looking forward to that too well we found a mule deer right on the spot top notch that's the first mule deer i've seen so um yeah, kind of excited about that. He's running off. Diamond mule deer. He's a good sized mule deer, though. But two good sized mule deer. I'm going to have to remember this spot. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Wander out here looking for pheasants and immediately find two good sized mule deer. Can't complain about that. Hashtag Rancho Del Arroyo, baby. All right, let's, uh, let's keep looking for pheasants here. I think we, uh,. I was trying to get into the uh, scrubland, but we were just a little too far south and a little too far west. East? East. Level 2, Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Rio Grande Turkey. Fantastic. That's a... Uh, yeah. Another video going to be over that, so uh, subscribe down below, I suppose, if you're interested in watching that at some point. We've gone from hills to just wide open spaces who is that shania twain i don't know so there's turkey over here but then i just noticed that there's a bazillion pheasants next to him too <laughs> feed zone discovered now i have seen where uh they don't hunker down like you expect them to turkey flying there two turkeys two rio grands okay the pheasants are heading left right now there's white tail to the right Oh, it's like the opening scene of Lion King right now. There's so many animals everywhere. Pheasants have ran off this way, though. We're going after them. Oh! 
One pheasant down. Turkey! <laughs> it's utter chaos right now. Let's go after the turkey there too. Oh my god. So right on we got our first pheasant here with the side-by-side -side. fantastic uh, over a gold but uh, short of a diamond That's awesome. We have so many more pheasants to go after so I'm gonna keep on running gonna Reload our side-by-side -side here ran off this way flew off this way I use the correct verbs Oh Nice Oh, he dropped dead too. I feel like an Englishman. I don't know if you guys ever watched TGS. It's the gun shop. It's a British uh, hunting channel. Uh, they go after, they do drives for, uh, for pheasants and, uh, and all sorts of different woodcock and whatever else is in there. I don't even know. Ducks sometimes. Um, and uh, oh, they use side by sides and over and unders the entire time. It's actually pretty fun. It, you all, yeah, you're probably watching a video right now. Anyway, check it out if you're interested. Pretty cool to see how they, uh, they do pheasant hunts and stuff over across the pond anyway. I saw this dead, this dead turkey over here. Top notch, 4.2 on that, on its way up. On its way up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to start collecting stuff <laughs> for, the, for the lodge. All right, I know we have a handful of pheasants to pick up, so let's keep on looking. And more calls for pheasants that way, jeez Louise. This is a gray one. I know at some point I'm gonna shoot a melanistic rooster and 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 it's just gonna look like a hen to me. So even though I I see him I see him up in the air and I think ah that's probably a hen. I I still still just shoot it just because I'm like well one of these times it's gonna be a melanistic rooster and I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference. <laughs> I haven't had much luck with uh, whistling and having them pop up from whistling, but uh, might get it at some point. Here we go. Another gray hen there. Two hits, evidently. <laughs> Looks like they completely missed it. Evidently, I just uh, forgot how crazy that moment was because I did not think we shot this many pheasants. <laughs> That's crazy. Come here, you! Fly! Let's go! Okay. If you start doing this and you can tell me with a straight face that you're not having fun <laughs> Well, then at that point, I'll just call you a liar Because this is so much fun. I'm, I'm During the intro video when I was first hunting pheasants for the first time I almost like broke down and cried it was <laughs> I just We have needed pheasants in this game for so long and to finally have them in the game is just it's tear jerking. It, it's truly just tear jerking. More fed, uh, more turkeys. Goodness gracious! I haven't seen. I didn't even shoot a turkey during the intro video. I thought I covered everything, but I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> I never saw one the entire time I was running around looking for stuff. So I just didn't head south far enough, I guess. More pheasant tracks heading off this way. So if you haven't seen the intro video yet, I kind of give a breakdown on where the majority of the animal species are going to be. Um, the pheasants and the bighorn are going to be right here in the middle. Uh, peccary, javelina, um, and the uh, bobcat are known to be in the desert. And then the mule deer and whitetail will be on the, uh, the eastern hilly side. But you will find them pretty much all around so i mean i've i've found mexican bobcat in the hills in the in this scrubland and in the desert um and then you know it's just the turkeys are supposed to be on the east side in the hills as well but oh i see something up here okay all right i hear ya 
I hear you. Actually, just I was running and then all of a sudden uh, a pheasant hopped up in front of me. I didn't have enough time to unpause my... Oh, look at them all. Look at them all go. So many of them. They're all flying away from me, though. Like how I went for a third shot with my double barrel shotgun. We did get that one though. Hopefully we find it on the way to find the other ones. The problem is that once you get into some dense trees like this, I mean, if they flew over you, you wouldn't even be able to see them anyway. <laughs> Where did that come from? Hey, we just found a rest zone. 11 to 2.30, 11 uh, a.m. to 2.30 p.m. They like to rest. It's interesting. Oh, I see you. Get back here. Another hand anyway. So as you can tell, I mean, there might be a little bit of planning involved when it comes to the pheasants, but honestly, if you just kind of take this whole section right here and just anywhere there's not big pink spots on it, just run over there. Most likely the pheasants are going to make a sound to which you will know where they are. And then you can kind of chase them down from that point. Let's try to find one more good Good bouquet of pheasants. We'll call it good from there. And a bazillion pheasants. All right, we've found our victims. At first, I was kind of taking the approach of, you know, if I make enough noise, they'll uh, they'll want to just calm down and, and, you know, hunker down and, and wait for it to be over, basically. But it seems if you sprint a little too early, then they take that time to fly off before you can even get to them. So I think I'm gonna walk just a tad, get closer to them and then sprint towards them. That way they don't fly off before I can even get a shot off basically. Don't like that I'm going into the trees right now because I won't be able to see anything. All right, let's make something happen. They are way out there now. Probably should have gotten a little bit closer, maybe. Can't believe they popped up so early. Gotta find that happy medium, I guess. Or they're, uh, they're either running or they're... flying. Is this the one we got? Or is he just walking there? He's just walking there. Got him. Got him! Got that one too. I think we got both roosters in that whole uh, bouquet. Flock, I guess you could say. Just a flock. Another uh, rabbit. Taking long shots now, goodness gracious. It's getting darker. They're just they're just shadows up in the up in the air. But here's our uh here's this one's gray. Okay. 11.7 on him. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna collect every pheasant that's uh different from now on. <laughs> we got mottled, we got gray, we got commons. Need to uh need to find some more is what we need. Oh, there he is. There you go. Another gray 16.7 on that guy making his way up to a diamond. Wasn't able to find a, a diamond during this, but of course, you know, how long does it take us to find diamonds of stuff? Sometimes it's sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's not, but I hope you found this interesting. The pheasants are so much fun, and I mean, it, it, this the sunset here. 
the sunset you know this is the end of our of our hunting venture uh this has been a, a great time if you're not excited uh for the pheasants as i've said before concerning this map you should check your pulse because the pheasants are so much fun um whether you're gonna be hunting after bighorn or you know whatever bobcats or whatever in the area and then all of a sudden you hear the flapping of wings you know and uh and you know that a pheasant is nearby and to take out your shotgun quick to get it uh put it on the ground and all that sort of stuff um yeah so excited for the pheasants because uh, you know you can make a day of it with friends just running around in this area you know shoot some pheasants uh have some fun you know sleep a couple more days to populate that area again and and then uh, go after them again i mean gosh it's just gonna be so much fun and i'm excited about it if you're excited about the pheasants like i am make sure you comment down below like the video if you found it entertaining or helpful in any way we had a couple of need zones thrown in there as well as just kind of a basic idea of uh you know chasing down these pheasants if you just keep running after them and um you know getting up close to them a little bit before they can fly off because they sent you a ways off and you can't get a shot off i mean there's uh there's certainly some uh some science to it if you will um it's gonna be a lot of fun if you want to join us in our live streams monday and wednesday 7 30 to 11 30 or 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central then you can certainly do that we play uh the hunter call of the wild and fishing planet of course which is a free fishing game you should definitely check out if you haven't seen it so far um like i've said before though we have a ton of videos that we're going to do over this mexican map while we have the beta so subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of them that's going to do it everyone take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on